Fame dinner for the Quincy and Up Quincy Hall of Fame football program. And it was a great night up at Granite Lakes. They honored three three from Quincy and three from North. And uh, Scotty Campbell, also Lodge Elect, was the MC. Him and Sean Glennon and the entire team do a great job putting that pro- program together each and every year. And, of course, the seniors are each honored by the coaches and talked about and the game is talked about. So it's, uh, it is quite a tradition. It truly is. Yeah, it's, well, it's 91 uh, years tomorrow, so that uh, that's probably one of the oldest rivalries in, in the state, I'm guessing. It's got to be up there, I'm certain. Sure. Do they still do the uh, spaghetti uh, dinner the day before? Uh, I'm sure they do. I mean, I know they do. Like, <laughs> um, I'm more familiar with North. Yeah. His, his played there, and uh, they used to do the last lap around Kavanaugh Field. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think they still do that uh, as part of the tradition. Pete Zoy used to lead it. Uh, for many, many years. Uh, Pete was a legend at North. Uh, I think Dr. Cubian uh, joins in and mm-hmm. participates. So they, you know, some of the alumni come back, they give some talks and they do the last lap and, and they're prepared. Sure, sure. Uh, before we get there, though, of course, uh, we have to get uh, through the Thanksgiving Day holiday. And I know that the New Yankee Housing Resource Center is, is open and hosting their first community meal this year. Yes, that's been uh, a long, long time planning and execution of the of the new structure there, which is very different, obviously, than, than what they moved out of. Uh, the bills was in a, the old registry building for many years, and uh, this is really first true by the bill shelter that was built as such, mm-hmm. right from the planning and architectural drawings. So uh, it's a whole new concept, which uh, we, uh, you know, we as a city were... Um, pushing a bit as well uh, the whole idea of just pushing people out in the street at 7.30 in the morning did not sit well uh, so their new concept includes you know including day programs and uh, resources during the day to help these folks with some of the challenges they have perhaps it's resume building finding a job uh, perhaps it's uh, connecting them with uh, mental, health, mental health counselors whatever it may be uh, they've got a triage area. They've got uh, short-term apartments. Uh, it's really well thought out, and I think it's going to truly make a difference for the the people of our community that are struggling. Yeah, and um, I'm guessing this uh, helps to now advance the uh, progress in the public safety complex. Yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, that's been a bit of a frustration point. Yeah, because uh, that did take longer than anticipated, which held up. Uh, and not totally, but certainly the last month has been uh, difficult. Because um, you know, but it's it's there. So that building will come down. Uh, the crane shifts over, and the steel starts to go up on the public safety building. Sure. Um, can we talk just a little bit about some some issues before we talk about all the events coming up, Mayor? Um, specifically, the transit oriented development districts that are being proposed around the T stations. What exactly does the city have to do to comply with that state law? Well, it's. Uh, you know, the administration put something before the city council mm-hmm. based on the new state law. I, I I think I've said it before, Joey. For the most part, we're already doing what the T has, or the state has suggested around the T stations. And uh, if you look at, uh, you know, the redistrict in Wallace and Center, that's going to allow for some uh, more density. Uh, for example, the old Wallace and Theater site, the block on uh, the corner of Arlington and, and uh, I'm sorry, Brook, which ends at Allerton, mm-hmm. uh, on one end, Newport on the other, and then, of course, Beale behind the firehouse. That's that's a, that's a, a block that's ripe for development right by a T-station. Uh, we did the Bazuto project in North Quincy. Uh, obviously, there's a lot going on in Quincy Center and South Quincy, Center Street. So we are kind of meeting that challenge anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there'll be some tweaking of our zoning based on this new uh, initiative by the state, which is challenging really the communities of Massachusetts to meet the demand for new housing. And uh, as I said, I think we've been doing a pretty good job at that. Um, as you know, Joe, it was a bit of an issue during my recent reelection that mm-hmm. uh, some people are concerned is it too much, you know? Uh, and we had, we've, as you know, we had discussions and debates about that. But in reality, the region is, is, uh, is not meeting the, the need for new units as we need to to protect the economy here in uh, the Boston region. So we got to continue to do our part. I've, I've always said we protect the neighborhoods. Residence A, single-family homes uh, is a no-no. 
Uh, but in the areas around the tea station, it makes sense. That's yep. where it belongs. Is there a, a deadline or a timeline mm-hmm. the state has imposed uh, for communities to meet that? I'm goal? sure there is. I don't know it off the top of my head, Joe. Okay. Uh, I'd have to check with the solicitor on that. I know he's been the one okay. doing the work on it. So the, creating these districts, though, is just kind of formalizing the next step. But as to s- Correct. I see. Very good. We talk, of course, now, Mayor, about all the events happening here in Quincy. This really is, I would argue, one of the busiest weeks of the year in the city. Is there something going on? <laughs> Just a couple it of things. Sure is. <laughs> it's, it's truly becoming an incredible tradition. Um, you know, between, uh, I know we talked about the Hall of Fame, you know, of course, the big game tomorrow, mm-hmm. the 91st game. And of course, Friday, uh, things really, really kick in for the season. And Thanksgiving is a little early this year on the calendar, so... It made it a little more challenging for all the city departments to uh, get everything banged out so everything is prepared for, for Friday night. I saw but, them putting the lights up on Election Day. <laughs> yes, uh, absolutely. And when you think about all, you know, you get the North Quincy District, the Quincy uh, Walson District, the Quincy Center area. You know, we assist in some of the neighborhoods, Fort Square and Squanum and uh, Post Island area mm-hmm. and out back and uh, Four River and Sapphire Park. I mean, you know, it's it's a lot to cover. See, so yeah. you, you can't start a week before, <laughs> uh, so it's uh, it's really great, though. I mean, I don't know that there's another community that does it like Quincy does it. I truly don't. I I've heard from so many people about the incredible incredible display in Quincy Center. Uh, many people say it's like a, a living hallmark right here <laughs> uh, in Quincy Center of the scene, uh, um, and we certainly have uh, brought it to a whole new level over the last uh, several years. So, but it makes it, I mean, the, you know, Friday night, there'll be several thousand people there. Yep. Uh, and kids of all ages. And uh, it's just an incredible, happy evening. And as you know, we've got uh, a couple of choirs, youth choirs, that are uh, going to kick things off. And uh, Santa will be making the soft Bibles with the countdown, get the lights on, and then the whole weekend begins. So it's uh, pretty cool stuff. It really is. Absolutely. Any prediction for the big game tomorrow, Mayor? You never know at that game. <laughs> never, never know. <laughs> so uh, I, I, I'll stay away from that. Both teams had some injuries this year. Yes. Uh, so uh, it'll, it'll be interesting, but it'll, it'll be fun to watch. Yeah. I want to remind folks they can watch it here on QATV as well if they can't make it. Uh, that's right. QATV fee. How many years have you been doing the game show? I mean, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. I'd, I don't know offhand, but at, at least, gosh, at, at least 25, if not more than that. That'd be. Yeah, yeah. For sure. And a lot of volunteers are a part of that. So we they gave up their time on Thanksgiving to help that game broadcast for these kids and their families indeed and now with the modern technology they can even watch it on their mobile devices wherever they happen to be so we bring the the city right to them absolutely a message from you mayor for the uh, city for thanksgiving you know i know uh i I probably ring a similar theme each year joe but um you know with all the challenges we've had in this nation you look around the world, and uh, there are a lot of issues around the world. It's a troubled world we live in, and whether it's uh, Russia invading Ukraine, whether it's Hamas invading Israel, whether it's the, the issues over in Africa, whether it's the suppression of human rights in China, uh, with all our challenges, it's still the greatest country in the world, and we shouldn't forget that. We should always be grateful for that. So, you know, with Thanksgiving, I certainly am grateful for uh, having an amazing family, some incredible loyal friends and a job that i love i thank the people of quincy for for allowing me to continue in that job so we have so much to be grateful for we should also be mindful of all our our men and women in uniform who aren't home for the holiday because of their duties keeping the world safe and um it's pretty amazing how many quincy kids uh, from the city that that uh, are in positions in the military around the world and including christopher hill who was the veteran speaker last year Mm -hmm who's the uh, commanding officer of the Eisenhower. That's pretty incredible over in the Middle East. So we should always be mindful of them and their service uh, as they're away from their families. But I just w- wish everybody, you know, uh, a wonderful holiday. Uh, enjoy the food and enjoy your company and time with your loved ones. Thank you so much, Mayor. And uh, from all of us here at QATV, to you and your family, a very happy, healthy holiday season. Back at you. Thank you. Bye-bye.